called the Rally Fighter. It's a niche vehicle with a clean diesel power plant that has some of the greatest style that uh, has been seen on the these sides of the uh, the pond uh, since uh, Harley Earl. everybody in the industry coughed a big sigh and said, oh, no, that's not true. <laughs> so, uh, um, so here it is today, and we brought Sangha back together with it after many, many months of working on it and going through. What I wanted to do is to present him what is probably the pinnacle of what I would want to do if I were a designer of vehicles, and that is the following. Your name on the side of the car. Wow. Metal. <laughs> so, uh, um, so this was Mill. And we're going to have Sangha place it on the side of the car. So for all designers who future win a competition with Mobile Motors, when your vehicle becomes a reality and is sold to people across the world in the United States, your name goes on the car forever. And you're forever associated with it, like Pininfarina, like Bertone, this is Sanjo's car. to SEMA probably seven years. Uh, today is just another day at the SEMA show. I took a picture and just uploaded this to Facebook with the caption drool because it is the very first car that made me go, wow, that is something that I want. And I looked underneath it, it was a chassis car, I'm like, shit, somebody else, somebody's building this. Like, this is, uh, this is, I build chassis cars too. And, and I went, wow, somebody did this? I gotta find out more about this right now. So, um, here with, what's your name again? Buddy Crisp. Buddy Crisp, and you are an actual Baja race car driver. Yes, I drive the Wild Card Racing Class 1 Porter race car. And what, what, what do you think about this, the, the Rally Fighter? Oh, I think it looks great. It's, the A-arms in the front are big enough and strong enough to hold uh, most of the off-road terrain that we, we travel over in Baja. The Watts link, which holds the rear end, keeps it perfectly straight within the frame rails of the vehicle, and that looks big enough and strong enough to do what we needed to do to go racing in Baja. So you're excited to one day definitely drive this thing and per perhaps even race it in Baja. Oh, absolutely. Looking forward to it. That's Looking great. Looking forward to it. I like the car. I just put a deposit down on one, so uh, 
I think it's going to be a fun thing and I want to participate in the uh, assembly of the car myself. When your father set up? 1967. 1967 set up the Him first Baja race. Back, decided to set a record in Baja. The Mexican 1000. And what they did was they went down there and they, in a Land Cruiser, and Dixie Beck and Dad set a record in Baja and came back and said, we need to start a race. So they started the first Mexican 1000. That's awesome. They ran it for quite a few years, then SCORE took it over. Yeah. And now we're coming back to do some races, not to be in competition with SCORE, but to do more of a rally type race. Yeah. And your car, to me, if I had to go down the course in any car, that is it. This, to me, is the future of off-roading. Hard to bring it to market. Okay. So while that would be great for publicity purposes, and, and there have been several people who have approached us and said, like, yep. you know, I race. And yep. so, uh, absolutely. Like, whoever okay. wants to get behind the wheel, we'll, we'll try to make it happen. But That's why I'm wearing a shirt that says Illust. I'm only taking photos of the Illust stuff at the show, and that's pretty freaking ridiculous right there. You need to buy one of these cars, is that right? Yeah, definitely. And uh, I'm now working for Local Motors, but even if I wasn't, I already explained to my husband that we're going to have a rally fighter. <laughs> what color do you think you're going to get? I want navy and I want cream colored seats with navy trim around it. Very nice. Yeah, like a Schwinn. Even when you won the contest, did you think that this day was going to really happen? Truthfully, truthfully. Uh, I, I had a belief in it, yeah. You believed that it would, that it would happen? It would happen, but... Has it, meet, has it met your expectations? More than that. That's More good. More than my expectations. And I can't believe it's really happening. What about all your uh, fellow students in Art Center? Are they all jealous? Kind of. They're kind of jealous, but uh, they always congress me, you know. It's all good. Josh Kalis, oh professional skateboarder. Yep. So you were saying something about Manhattan and... and... I'm just saying, think about it. If, the, if something happened in Manhattan, God forbid. Right. And the military had to just come in there and just get to where they needed to go as fast as possible. I mean, they're coming in something like that. Like the rally fighter, man. You know? It's the only... Ah, shit, I would love that thing.